What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is Monday, December 16th. This video is going to be a full day of eating what I eat to get lean video. I am now into my like third week of cutting and I'm going to show you all my meals that I eat in a day and why I pick them um, and the macros I'll be putting on the screen for you guys. So this is my first meal of the day. I have three pieces of this honey wheat it's called Loving Fresh is the brand. Honey wheat bread. And the macros on this, if you're cutting, they're very good. 70 calories per one slice. Only 13 grams of carbs. So I can eat more than one. <laughs> so there's three. And then I put this sugar-free Maple Grove Farms um, maple syrup on there. And any sugar-free syrup really has like really good macros. And any sugar-free syrup has pretty good macros. Um, as you can see, there's only 6 grams of carbs per 60 milliliters. And I only really need less than 60 milliliters um, with the three pieces. So it works out good. And I will put the macros on the screen right here so you can see them. So I am about to eat that pre-workout meal and then hit the gym. I have a arms and abs session today, I believe. So not the most exciting, but I haven't showed an arm session on my YouTube yet, so I'll record that for you guys and you will see it here. so it's a little late for me to be having my second meal but I'm going to make eggs and toast and I will show you guys that now okay guys so I actually wanted to hop on here and show you guys how I do my meals so 
I use my fitness pal. It focused. Okay, so I just hit add food. My pre-workout meal is always um, French toast with the honey bread that I showed you guys. It's always three slices. So that's usually my first meal of the day because I usually have one meal and then go to the gym. Um, so I track that and that is um, the three pieces of bread and then I just dip it in um, one egg, uh, like a tiny bit of almond milk and I pour some egg whites in there because it usually doesn't like take up the whole thing. So um, I just add a little bit of egg whites to make sure it's all covered. And then I just cook it in a pan. I use the sugar-free syrup and that comes out to 300 calories. Um, 15 grams of protein, 49 grams of carbs, and 8 grams of fat, which I showed you guys before. So that's my first meal of the day. And then when I get back from the gym, I always have um, my post-workout meal, which is usually eggs with cheese and toast with like jelly or jam or whatever. And how many eggs I use usually depends on what I'm gonna eat for the rest of the day. So what I'll do is I'll put that in and then I'll put in the rest of my day in my fitness pal so I know exactly what I'm gonna eat and what the macros are gonna come out to be. So I'm not like, what am I gonna eat for my last meal tonight? I can't fit anything into these macros type thing. So, um, I'm going to track that now. Recently, I've been like, it's been really hard to hit my fat. So I really have to like put it in before I eat anything and then like try to alter it to get my fat in. So I'm gonna go two eggs, um, three servings of egg whites, which I think is like 124 grams. And then I always do shredded cheese. I do one serving um, and then I'll use the honey toast again. I'll do two slices with strawberry jam. And that puts me at 56 grams of protein. And this is for the whole day so far. So post and pre-workout meals. 56 grams of protein, 91 grams of carbs, and 29 grams of fat. So that looks pretty good. Um, I am having two meals of ground turkey today. <clears throat> so I'll get some fat from there. Okay, so I just put in my two meals of ground turkey and rice, um, my post-workout meal and my last meal. Um, I had to change things around a little bit because I went over fat like seven grams with the two eggs. So I'm dropping to one egg and adding more egg whites. So I'll still get the protein in, but take out the fats. And that leaves me with going over protein by four grams which is fine um over carbs by one gram and over fats by one gram so i try to stay in between five grams um less or above for proteins and carbs and then for fats i try to stay within like two to three grams because there's more calories per gram of fat than protein and carbs so yeah, I have all my meals tracked out and I'm gonna show you guys my post-workout now and then I'll catch you later.
Okay guys, so I have my post-workout meal right here, like you guys saw. Um, one egg and 186 grams of egg whites, and then I had 28 grams of shredded cheese, which was one serving. And then I have two pieces of the honey toast with 20 grams of jam, which is one serving as well. I am going to eat this and then I will see you guys for my next meal. such a mess and it's been a while since I did clean it so I did that and now I'm just pretty much waiting for my rice to be done it should be done in a few minutes it's 3 13 I go to work at 4 so I'm going to prep what I can of my meals for work it's gonna be two meals of ground turkey and rice I know it's kind of boring but um, that's just what I eat to get my macros in. I want to talk briefly about how I figure out what meals I'm gonna have. So I always use three staple meals. Right now I actually have four that I am eating every day that are like my go-to meals. I know they're gonna fit my macros. I know I'll have room left for other things. So the first one is my pre-workout meal which is the French toast. Um, my post-workout meal which is the eggs and toast. And then my two ground turkey and rice meals, I usually have them like back to back, which I know a lot of people don't like to do, but it's just like a habit for me. I know it's gonna hit my macros and I know it's good for me. So I just like formed a habit of eating it. I don't not like it or anything. Um, it is actually one of my favorite meals. I would prefer ground turkey over chicken. Um, but if I do like get sick of ground turkey i'll switch over to chicken or if the fat doesn't fit in my macros anymore once i'm like deep into a cut then i'll switch to chicken um it's not a big deal but i do like to enjoy my meals as well as have them fit into my macros so those are my four staples and then i usually have one to two other other like snacks or meals a day um and right now it's been only one meal and it's usually like a one scoop protein shake and then um, like these peanut butter crackers. So like I said, it's been hard to hit my fats lately. So I've um, been having like the peanut butter crackers because they have like 11 grams of fat in them, I believe, and not too many carbs. So it's been working out for me. So I am waiting for my rice to finish and then I'm going to show you how I weigh out my ground turkey. I already have it prepped. I prepped it last night. And I usually prep my foods like Sunday night or Monday morning. I try to have them prepped for like three or four days and then I do it again. So I really prep foods twice a week. Um, I would have done rice yesterday, but I didn't realize that I didn't have any left. So yeah. And I usually go grocery shopping once a week and get everything I need. And then if I run out of any if I run out of anything, I just grab it during the week. So I will show you guys my ground turkey. So what I do, I have my scale here. This is a food scale from Amazon. Um, it's called Ozeri. I don't know if you guys can see it. 
and um, you just turn it on. So I have two meals for work, so I'm just gonna put them in these containers. So what you do is you put it on the scale. If you guys haven't used a scale before, just put it on the scale. Um, it's gonna tell you how much it weighs. You're just gonna hit the tar button or tear, tear button. I don't know what it's called. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I think it's tear, just hit the tear button. And then um, you can switch up the units. So this one has grams, pounds, pounds and ounces, ounces and milliliters. And we are going to use ounces for ground turkey because it's pretty much the easiest to weigh in. And my rice just finished, so I'm gonna show you that too. Um, so basically I just scoop it out. And I need three. Okay, so. 4.02 in there and then here's the next one it should be the same weight because it's the same container so it should zero out if it didn't just hit the tear button again and this one's going to be four ounces as well and i would highly suggest just like prepping um your food before the week starts if you know you're going to have like a really busy week or something um and you're not gonna have time to like make food and it's gonna make you have to buy food, have fast food or like do something quick but maybe not macro friendly, then I would definitely suggest like getting on top of that and scheduling in like to your schedule when you can actually like have time to make food because it does make all the difference. And I factored in one cup of rice to my meals for work so I just use a cup. I don't measure it out, I just make sure it's like compact in there um, so I'm using the same amount every time. So I just make sure it's level and then I just dump it right into the, the container. And those are my work meals. So I will put the macros on the screen right here for one. So just double it to know what I ate at work. And I'm not sure if I will be able to like show you guys me eating it at work, but I do follow like a timing schedule for my foods because I just notice that I'm hungry every like two to four hours. So. Just got home from work. This is my last meal of the day. I have peanut butter crackers and a one scoop protein shake. I'm gonna have this right now and then I will see you guys in the next video. If you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you guys don't miss anything. And I will see you in the next one.